Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Sonia Affiliate, your favorite digital marketing strategist. And in this short video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build an auto blogging website on WordPress. Now, heading over to this site, um, you can see that it has a lot of posts in it and if you check the date you can see it's September 26 which means all these posts were added on the same date now we can approximate that this is over 200 to 300 posts that was added on the same date so that is an example of an auto blogging website it's the kind of website that you run and you don't really have to post articles you have the articles scrapped from other websites and posted on your website so I'll be heading over to my dashboard now where we are going to start the installation process okay so to start the installation first thing we need to do is to install the plugin we are going to be using which is WPE Matico plugin and the reason why I'm going to be using this for this tutorial is because it is a plugin that is totally free to use. So first thing you need to do is to install the plugin. So go to plugins, then click on add new plugins. So in the plugin section, we are going to be looking for the plugin we are going to be using to work with. So it is W P E Matico. So we are going to search for it and it is going to come up. It is an RSS feed fetcher. You can see WPE Matico RSS feed fetcher is an auto blogging in the blink of an eye. So I have it uh, activated on my WordPress website already, but this is the plugin. Just search for WPE Matico and install it. So now that we have it installed, we are going to create our campaigns. So to create campaign, we need to head over to the plugin. Then we click on all campaigns. Now, in the All Campaigns section, here we are going to see the campaigns that we are um, already running. But we don't have any campaign, so we can click on Add New Campaign. But let me just scroll to the top, then click on Add New Campaign here. So, this is where the real work lies. Firstly, we have to know the feeds we want to get uh, content from. That is the website we want to get their feeds from. I actually have uh, what I use here, which is a feed fetcher that has a website which is openculture.com slash feeds. So this uh, plugin actually shows me a lot of feeds I can get for free. So this is the feed I'm going to be using. But if it is a WordPress website, you just type the name of the website then slash feeds. So let's head over to campaign and let's start the work before we paste the feed. So I'm going to give it a title, something that will make it easy for me to remember. Let me title this entertainment. So, I can put a short excerpt. I can just copy this and paste it here. Let me just give it a name. Let's just say Entertainment News. Okay, it's not copied. Let me correct it. So, heading over down here, we can leave this at default. Feed Fetcher, it is not YouTube. So, let's just leave it as default. We want to use it as post. So, leave it. Now, here is where we are going to be adding the feeds, which is the website where we are going to be getting content from. So, I'm going to click on this right now, and I'm going to paste the feeds I actually got from here, which is openculture.com slash feed, which is where I want to use the feed. So, I'm just going to paste it here. So, this is the feed. Now, to check if it is working, I need to click on this button. So, when I click on it, it is going to run and check if it is working. So, you can see when it turns green, it means it is working. If it is not, you can just delete it and add another feed. We, are, we can actually add, I think, five feeds here. Let's see how much we can add. Okay, we can keep adding. This one, two, three, four, five, six. So, you can add up to 20 years. You can add up to 20 feeds per section. So, scrolling to the bottom option for the campaign how many posts do you want to fetch per time this is how many you want to fetch per time you can put 500 but be careful make sure your bandwidth can carry what you want to do so in my case i'll just go with 50 other feeds item by date 
before process we can click on this uh information icon to know what all this section means recommended to use only if the feeds are not ordered by date so if it is not ordered by date you can just you know click on this use feed item dates yes we want to use their own dates we want to use their own dates um pink bag track bags convert character encoding utf8 um, we can leave that section uh, blank let's see if there's another section we want to check out on um, feed excerpt with item and description field um, we can click that not bad if we have that loading um, stripe all html tags you don't want to use this um, stripe or html tags you don't want to use this because this is going to remove um there are image links and all that you don't want to do that just leave it blank stripe links from content um you don't want to do that leave it blank post title link to source don't click that if you do that it's going to increase your bounce rate because when people click on the title it's going to take them to the original website where the content came from and that will increase your bounce rate it means people won't stay long on your site copy prima link from source if you want to use their own their own prima link we can just click on that which is i think very nice also avoid search redirection to source prima link okay so we have the comment section you want to keep it open so people can comment okay people can comment on the post um let's see what else we want to do um convert character no the author of course you want to choose yourself the categories you can just use add auto categories which means it is going to fetch but just know that there are a lot of categories out there so i would like to choose entertainment because this website i'm trying to get content from is in the entertainment niche so let me scroll to the bottom now in the tags we can add anything we want okay then you have the comma then let me say news you have the comma then let me say gist all right now where do you want to send log when you have errors fetching or when it has been able to fetch i want it to when there's an error i want it to send it to my gmail address now this is the main part where people actually get issues setting this plugin in the minute minutes choose any minutes hours you can choose one hour but this will be determined by the kind of bandwidth your um, host gives you so i would recommend you use one hour if you just choose zero means it will be fetching every second and that might cause error so give it a space like an hour so 50 posts per hour is not bad it's not bad it is still okay we have 24 hours in a day so you can imagine how many posts it's going to fetch now in days leave this at any at any at any so one hour is okay because we've set it to 50 so it's going to be fetching 50 posts every single hour it goes out to that particular website okay this is actually a hack i want you to take note of when you are publishing the post or when you are setting up your wpe medical plugin and that is in the image section so if you don't actually click this you won't be able to set this now you see that some of the posts don't come with featured image because it is actually scrapping the content so click on this don't use general settings then uh, don't click store image locally it is going to uh be uploading the images on your uh wordpress so click this set first image in content as featured image this way all your posts will have featured image and they will look more appealing all right just make sure you do this and then you click um, save and also in the video section there's actually nothing to do here just leave this blank just leave this blank and the duplicate control just leave it blank and then you can need to do save. is to head over to this section the publish section then it publish so now we can see that our campaign is successfully published so to see it on the front end we just need to click on all campaigns where we can check it Alright, so now you can see it in the All Campaigns section. So this is the campaign we are running and this is one of the reasons why the uh, description is very important. Now the reason why it hasn't run is because 
we set it to one hour so it is supposed to fetch the post one hour after now so this is 10 so by um 11.05 it should go and fetch the post but alternatively if you want it to run immediately just click on this run once and you're going to see campaign is running so it is going to run for you and it is going to go and start fetching the post immediately so you can see that the campaign was successful campaign fetch 16 seconds processed how many posts you can see 15 posts here so scrolling here we can see that we already have 15 posts on our site in less than five minutes so let us go to the front end where we can see the post that we've published so we just head over then click on visit site okay so we can see that it was a success this is our blog post and this is our recent post so you can see we already have 15 posts published immediately this is the post so that is just how you use the plugin to to set up the auto blogging on your wordpress website so to get more feeds you just need to keep adding more feeds so the more feeds you add the more uh, posts you will be fetching part time so now in the next one hour it is going to go and fetch another post from that website so that is just how you run the auto blogging on wordpress please make sure you subscribe for more videos like this have a nice day